Welcome to Longest Night. This is a game from the developers who are currently working on a game called Night in the Woods, uh, which I kickstarted. And I'm really excited for it. Uh, and they actually made this game when uh, they started the Kickstarter, just to like uh, learn to work together as a team, get their, get their stuff together. Uh, so, I actually never played it, and they recently redid it a little bit uh, to make it better, because I guess they made it in a week, um, but then they went back. So, let's just dive in. Let's see what's going on here. Why aren't I cold? Fire. We have a fire. We have reached that level as a civilization. Oh. I'm bored. Feels like we've been here forever. Oh, we should do the longest night constellation thing. Wow, really? I haven't done that since I was like six. No one has done that since they were like six. Well, I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't remember much before like eight and a half. That's very specific. B is a synthetic life form created at age 8.5. All right, so we know this is B, I guess. I just want to take a second here and like soak in these adorable characters uh, and this great art style. Look how beautiful this fire is and him adjusting his glasses over there. Okay. Let's continue. This makes so much sense. Beep boop beep. One, one, zero, one, one, okay, whatever, I'm done. Can we just do this thing? None of us knows enough about the constellations to even do it, B. Yeah, B. I do. Since when? Since always. Now listen up, dummies. We're going to school. Space school. Whoa. <laughs> this is pretty rad. I can't see anything. We're pattern finders. Find some patterns. Man, am I... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, listen. So it's rejecting incorrect patterns. Hey, Lucio. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can choose who or what? Yeah, let's do what. Do it. Lucio the Fox. Scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French. Totally a scourge. Oh, uh, why does he have a spear through him? The candle that burns twice as bright gets speared through the guts. Beautiful. You can see why this one is so popular. by some king somewhere. 
Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Ugh, you'd think, right? But in the story, she's portrayed as annoying. Like she was being a martyr. About literally being martyred. They eventually put her head in a trunk and threw it in a river. Jeez? Or what did she do? I'm gonna go with cheese. Cheese is my uh, Fargo reaction to everything. Ah, jeez. I know, right? Supposedly, if you put your head underwater in some river in Italy, she'll tell you about her murder. They renamed it the River of Guilt. But not like the guilt of her murderers. More like she's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid. This constellation is garbage. Chop my head off, I'll bite yours off. Happy Longest Night, everyone. Moving on. Okay, so there's like audio feedback when you hit the right ones. Tolmatron. It rings at the end of the world. And Mundy shakes everything off her back. And I think it all catches fire, too. It all made sense back then. Back when people were, like, wicked dumb. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. It's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Huh? Okay, maybe it's gotta be like the same instrument. Whoa! Mundy, the world fish. Back then, they thought whales were fish. And you know that the world was on one. Mundy is my sign. Oh, God. Of course it is. Hey, what does that mean? Um... um <laughs> is that whale sounds? What is that? Well, if any of this meant anything, then it might mean something, but it doesn't, so it doesn't. Um, 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 what is, what are you doing? That's my question exactly. Whale noises, I knew it. Okay. Do I have any power over, okay. Like it'll follow my mouse around a little bit. Okay. Interesting. This is a weird shape. How do I complete you? self-explanatory. Huh. Fun fact. Fish is my sign. I think that means you're adaptable and smelly. I think that means you're a failure in all things. Oh. I, this one's a little more positive. I want to give this guy some credit. He's, I mean, he might not have a lot going for him. 
Got one of those right, huh, Captain? Got a manly musk going here. You smell like that stuff I got you. Finally. Ice Hawk. It has a picture of an Ice Hawk on it. I smell quite masculine. Like an Ice Hawk. I think you smell nice, Angus. Thanks. Also, his name is Angus. That's an interesting name for what appears to be a bear. What's an ice hawk? <laughs> okay, so these can just be a line. They don't have to be a gladed shape. Mandonese, the little king. He was uh, a king who was little. I don't know anything about this one. <laughs> Apparently, a little king was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small. Stop the presses! So there's this king, right? But get this. He's slightly smaller than you'd expect. He wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky. I I'm kind of short. May Borowski, Constellation. So this is May. Nah. Everyone who picked the Constellations is dead now. sound of this one. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stars in this one. Oh, is that not connected? Maybe like this. Ah. Can you connect these incorrectly? No. That would be ridiculous. I don't understand. Right. Simple storytelling game. I'm really struggling at this. Sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. Oh god, I love this one. There were two rival popes. Oh, I love this one too. <laughs> and Rubello won by opening his mouth. And consuming them with fire. What? That's a little different than I remember. The whole schism thing. And then he ate them. But... I knew that one. That is amazing. I mean, historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. But he did eat them. He did eat them, yes. That is the raddest thing I have ever heard. Chomp, chomp, whoops, I ate you, now I'm the Pope. I'd have to go look up that uh, particular history lesson. Oh yeah, this percussive one is it? Ooh. The broken snake, the first thing that talked. Uh, this story has always made me so annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story. Oh my god, I remember that. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punching cookies for me. Wow, I certainly missed out on all of that. Oh, dude, 
you, you didn't even. <laughs> Church drama. Mice writers, inventors of written language. Weren't there supposed to be thousands of them? Listen, there's only so much sky. <laughs> That's pretty good. The mice writers are my sign. I think that means you're thousands of geniuses, or I think that means you're screwed. Uh, let's take the your interpretation. Accurate! Okay, so these can connect within the shapes. Is that what I'm getting? Hey! Alright. Corvin the thief stole the diamond from the crown of Rubello, the fire-breathing pope. Got arrowed to death, like 200 feet from the palace. So he didn't get to be a constellation for being a great thief then. He did not. Screw the man, steal their diamonds. Ah yes, the revolutionary zeal of kids from the suburbs. Possum Springs isn't the suburbs. Uh, Possum Springs, we have a town name. Yeah, you need a city to have suburbs. Oh, I know the feeling. We're in the dead center of nowhere. It's like a 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. <laughs> oh man. Also, I'm 21. I'm not a kid. I think you're younger than me. I'm 21 too. We both have full-time jobs. Well, as close to full-time as they can get before they have to start giving us health insurance. Oh. America, right? I'll be 20 in like four months. Okay, fine. You're all very serious adults. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Feel your pain, young adults. Hang in there. Ebon. The, the first singer. Ever see the opera based on this? No? Oh yeah! No, I definitely haven't seen this. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like 21 hours long. <laughs> I hope it has an intermission. And like a hundred years ago, when it was playing in Bright Harbor, the stage exploded during the part where Yvonne crashes his balloon into the world worm. Sweet. Was anyone killed? Like, a lot of people. Oh. Listen, if you can't laugh at that, I have bad news about the rest of history. <laughs> history. Always fun and lighthearted. Venerous, the inventor of music. Nice beak. Reminds me of Germ. Haha. Uh -huh. Germ isn't even musical, like at all. Who? Or Germ? Like Germ? Weird Germ? Yes. How do you know? I think May is getting sleepy.
Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. Uh, this one. My mom always said I looked like this one. I can see it. I sure can't. Leading so many cranky angels. Uh, crouching hard. Uh, across the sky. Okay. Moving on. Well, is that all of them? Well, that's all 13 of them. Yay, thanks, Angus. That was pretty great. You're a big old nerd, Captain. Yes. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. I like to think that I fill that role at the video store. <laughs> well, I should probably get home. Wait. I just realized that I haven't hung out with you in years, B. What? Yeah, not since like seventh grade, or we had a huge fight when we were 12. I remember, I was there. You were a massive jerk. <laughs> but why am I at a longest night bonfire with you? Because you just missed me so much. Wait, are we actually in space? and breathing? What am I sitting on? Tyrannosaurus pattern. What? Oh god. I haven't seen Greg or Angus for a year and a half. Regret and emptiness. I didn't go home for longest night. Laundry day. Apple juice taste from when you threw up earlier have to call home. You don't want to call home. It's too late to take the bus. What is happening? What made you think of me today? You don't want to take the bus. This is your new life. Is it still new after a year and a half? Underwear adjust. Next year will be new again. Next you will be new again. Leg stretch. Oh, come on, this is getting stupid. Am I seriously? Uh. <laughs> well, home's not gonna call itself. Well, cool. Thanks for playing uh, Longest Night with me. Uh, that was certainly interesting. I enjoyed it. I've been, you know, following this team for a while now, uh, seeing all this amazing art they've been working on for Night in the Woods, and it was really cool to hear these characters come to life. Um, if you want to check this out, uh, you can go to nightinthewoods.com uh, and on itch.io, which is a really cool site for finding indie games you can a lot of them are pay what you want uh, or you know you can snag some for free but you know you can support the ones you really like um, you can grab this game and there's another short one called Lost Constellation that I can recommend it's really pretty really just interesting and funny uh, and I can't wait for a night in the woods so thanks a lot <laughs>